Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Made by Monica. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I am going to put out another plea. <laughs> I really, really, really am trying to get to those thousand subscribers. So if you would please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below. It's totally free for you. And all it does is it, that YouTube will let you know when I upload a video and that way you can come and watch it. So <laughs> kind of a win-win maybe, let's go with that. <laughs> um, okay, so we are gonna get started on the Dollar Tree haul. I got uh, some fall stuff and just some new stuff. And uh, so I will um, show those to you quickly and um, we will get started. But like I said, um, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button down below, I would really, really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Oh, also before we get started, I thought I'd give you an update on my kitty. So the last time I did a Dollar Tree haul, I still had my Easter stuff up behind me. So <laughs> I did get my beach stuff up, you guys. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I got that far. Anyway, I don't know if you can see it or not. It turned out kind of cute. So yeah, I got all the Dollar Tree beach stuff here. And then this is, ooh, look at that. Okay. This is the, um, yeah, wreath kind of thing that we made. It's a buoy, yeah. And so this is a sign from Dollar Tree. And then this was the picture frame that we made. So it has a picture of my husband and I at, um, in the Dominican Republican at Punta Cana. So, and then I, you know, stuck some of the stuff down below with some seashells and stuff. So anyway, Yay me, I got beach stuff done, so <laughs> I got that far. <laughs> um, oh, also I've been working on some jewelry too. So I made um, this bracelet and then I made earrings and stuff. So I may go ahead and do a video for you guys too on some jewelry making. Um, I'm telling you, I got my hands in like a whole lot of stuff because we're also gonna do some cooking this week. I know I keep promising you I'm gonna do that. It's not really cooking, okay? I mean, it's summer, so I think what we're gonna end up doing is a lightened up broccoli apple salad, something like that. So anyway, it looks really, really, really good for summer. So anyway, it's one of those salads you can put together and you know, take with you to the pool or something like that. So, okay, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul because I've kept you for a couple minutes already. So anyway, what I picked up at Dollar Tree. So you guys, they they're starting to have their fall stuff out now. And um, I think I showed you before a couple of things that I picked up. They had their raffia owl and things like that. So uh, they are slowly starting to get more stuff out. I know it's only June. I get it. I am right there with you to have to store this stuff until fall. But you could go ahead and start making your crafts and stuff. So summertime seems to be, you know, a little more uh, relaxed and stuff. So, um, you know, you can start doing your fall projects maybe a little at a time. And then that way when like August and September comes, you don't feel like, oh my gosh, I have to get this stuff done now. So anyway, go ahead and pick some of this stuff up and you'll be ready to go. So I would, let's just go ahead and start with some florals. And so these are... These are the beautiful florals that they have out now. Oh, I think before I started, I was gonna update you on my kitty. Did I say that? I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I'm not messed today. Anyway, before we start on the floors, let me update you on my kitty. I think I was distracted by my bracelet. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so my kitty, so when I did my last Dollar Tree haul, uh, my kitty cat came through here and was meowing and everything really loudly. Um, anyway, we came home the other night and she was kind of walking sideways and we were like, oh. Um, so we kind of thought it maybe was the end because she's 21, you know. So we didn't really think to take her to the vet because they'll be like, oh, she's 21. So anyway, um, no, she's doing okay now. Um, we are kind of doing like mm, some sort of like hospice care for her. <laughs> like just my husband and I, I mean, you know, so we kind of put her in the litter box and things like that, but her back end is just a little like, I don't know. So anyway, you won't hear her today. She's not meowing anymore. I don't know. So we're kind of thinking it's a little bit more towards the end. So I will give you updated on my poor kitty, but she's eating and drinking. So I don't know, but anyway, I'll show you a picture at the end of the video and she's a cutie patootie, even though she's 21. So anyway, back into the Dollar Tree haul. Okay, so I picked up these fall florals. 
how gorgeous are these? Now I am going to do sunflowers probably here shortly. Um, my kitchen is done in lemons and so I picked up a lot of the lemon stuff. I made a lemon tree last year and I think I videoed that. Yeah, if you go back in the archives, there might be a video of my lemon tree. Anyway, so my whole kitchen's done in lemons and so I'm gonna switch over to uh, sunflowers probably here shortly. Probably by August, um, I'll have switched over to sunflowers. But anyway, I thought this was a great transition from summer, you know, straight into fall. And I just thought these were gorgeous. Look at those, you guys, for a dollar. I mean, my goodness. Okay, so there's like one, two, three, four, five of those on there. Um, so these um, florals are really, really a great deal. So here's what I'm going to do. I picked this up as well, and it says bless this kitchen. So I am going to end up doing sunflowers with buffalo plaid. So if you guys are getting ready to do buffalo plaid uh, for fall, go ahead and pick these signs up because I'm telling you by fall, they won't be there. <laughs> you know how Dollar Tree works. <laughs> it's out when it's out, and if you don't get it, you don't get it. So anyway, you want to pick that up if you're gonna do some sunflowers or um, buffalo plaid for your kitchen, because that one specifically says kitchen. Although you could DIY that and change the center of that out, so. Um, some other things I picked up were some stickers. So these are some of their new um, stickers that they had out. Now I went to Dollar Tree with my daughter and she got some stickers too, and I think we got a few of them um, mixed up because I did not end up with the, um, label ones so they have ones that have labels on them and it says like coffee sugar flour you know things like that so they have a whole um sticker sheet of you know different labels and stuff so i'm sorry i don't have that to show to you today but anyway it's one of their new sticker sets so look for that when you're at dollar tree but this is one of their new sets how cute how cute is that you know it's got that uh, buffalo plaid in it and all your trucks and everything so Super, super adorable. This one was a new coffee one that they had out. So, adorbs, adorbs. Oh, and they're like two-sided, so you actually get, you know, I think two of each, maybe. I haven't really looked at it, but it is two-sided. So, yeah, I would say they're the exact same. So you end up with two stickers of, of each one. Now I thought this was super cute. I really like the gray, the gray buffalo plaid. I thought was just absolutely adorable in that. So if you know someone that does chickens or you know decorates in a lot of farmhouse, this is a great sticker set for that. Now this one also, I kind of picked up for the um, homemade with love. Um, so if, if you make anything or you make a sign or a gift or something, you know, those are nice to kind of add to the back and maybe do a little signature or something. Um, but this had the Buffalo plaid on it as well. Now it does have the red trucks, which are a little bit the same, but you can see that those two are just a little bit different. So, um, you can pick them both up and have one of each. And like I said, they're, they're all double-sided. So you end up with a couple of stickers of the same one. Um, the other thing I picked up was for hair. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was so gorgeous for fall. I mean, they're like kind of shiny and anyway, so, you know, if you put your hair up or anything for fall, I <laughs> thought those were so cute. So, um, you want to get these now because like I said, I don't know what they're going to have in the fall, you guys. They come out with different stuff and if you don't grab it when you see it, you know, it's, it's, almost gone. So, <laughs> um, the other thing that they had were the fabric roses. Now I picked up just, um, the burlap, but they did have pink burlap and I'm thinking red. I am not a hundred percent sure on the red, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm a hundred percent sure on the pink. They did have the pink. I didn't pick that up. So, but anyway, uh, uh, fabric, uh, burlap roses are great for your projects. And then, dun, 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 look you guys look what they have so the new uh crafter square they had a little red truck well it's not red <laughs> if you want to paint it red <laughs> you know what i mean uh you could paint it blue or you know whatever color you want but so the inside i thought it maybe because they have those ones with the tea lights in the middle and i thought this had the light in it but 
It doesn't. So actually, it's just got the two wooden blocks. So you could actually take this apart and you would end up with two separate wooden trucks. And then you could take one of the wooden blocks there and just hot glue it, you know, inside right here and your truck would stand up and then you would have two trucks. So for a dollar, you know, 50 cents, you got a truck and for a dollar, you got two trucks. So there you go, uh, super cute. The other thing I picked up were these frames. Now I'm not 100% sure if these are new or not, um, but I just thought that they were great and that I could include them in my fall uh, decor. So I am probably going to paint the frames and then maybe even take some of those stickers or some sunflower stickers and do something, you know, sunflower in here. So let me, I know we're, we're getting kind of uh, long on time and I don't, I don't want to keep you guys. So, but you know me, I like to open stuff when I'm on camera with you guys. So, um, so that we can all see it together. So anyway, um, this is what it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got your uh, clips here that are on a string. So they just hold a picture. And so you can actually put, you know, anything that you want on there. So it'll hold your picture. Kind of like a little clothesline. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was really cute. So, and it's got the um, hanger with it. So super cute, super cute. So I picked up two of those. Like I said, I don't know that they're new. You know, maybe they have them out before. I, I've just never seen them before and they had a whole bunch of them. So I thought, ooh, grab it while I can, right? Yes, yes. Okay, now before I show you the new metal stuff that I got, um, I know everybody's been showing all the new galvanized everything and I, I've showed you guys that before too. So I didn't pick up any galvanized anything yet, but these are new metal things. So I will show you those in just a second. But a couple of summer things still, um, I grabbed two of these sweet summer um, ice cream cones. So um, I told you in the last couple of videos, we're getting ready to do like an ice cream, um, yeah, I don't know, it's like a fair, I don't know, craft show, something like that. Anyway, um, so we're gonna be selling ice cream. So I just picked up the ice cream cones. You know those big ice cream um, cone cups <laughs> that I showed you guys? No, I have not drank out of them. You should be so proud of me. I have not used them for a cup. So not saying that I still won't, but uh, I'm kind of in those stainless steel cups now. So I have my, um, you know, stainless steel coffee here. Oh, iced coffee. I'm telling you, it's the best. It's the best. Okay. Did I ever tell you guys how I make that? Anyway, well, I don't have one to show you, but Premier Protein, some ice, and then the Starbucks iced coffee. And pour it all in together. Yummy, yummy, very yummy. Okay, so the other thing that this Dollar Tree had were t-shirts. And so I know that a lot of Dollar Trees carry some of the t-shirts and stuff, but this one was loaded. Like you can't ever find the adult t-shirts. You know, they always have the youth t-shirts, but you can't ever find the adult ones. So at this Dollar Tree, I actually found adult t-shirts. So um, they are just, you know, regular t-shirts. They had some different kinds, different brands. And I think that's probably why they have them for a dollar, you know. Um, they just have um, the different brands and everything. So they probably, you know, get them in from, I don't know, other stores or the manufacturer or something that's got, you know, different ones. So anyway, I picked up several of these because I have my Cricut machine. Oh, I need this shirt. And um, so I made that with my uh, Cricut machine and with my vinyl. So I thought I would pick these up and make myself some shirts for the summer. And so I just picked up black and I picked up a pink one. And then uh, the other thing that I found were the um, polyester shirts. And so these are those like wicking, um, but anyway, I have the Cricut, um, what do I call it, infusible ink. And so it's kind of like a sublimation kind of thing. Anyway, um, and so I picked these up to do that with. They are, um, or my infusible ink is in red buffalo plaid. So um, I thought that that would really pop off of the white. So yeah, so I picked those up. Um, so check your Dollar Trees for t-shirts because I think they're gonna start getting a lot more of those in. I'm telling you, this Dollar Tree had a whole wall of them, just big old boxes of all kinds of them. So, okay, anyway, 
back to the metal now and I will let you guys go. I promise I won't keep you too long. Okay, so these are, I finally found them. Yes! <laughs> Anyway, I know a lot of you guys have found these already and we are going to put the, um, probably, you know, like the sunflowers on those. Look how stinking cute that is. Yeah, we're doing sunflowers. So anyway, if you pick up one, it looks like this. And then if you grab a second one and put them just slightly off center, um, then you end up with, if I can get this straight, there you go. Then you end up with a tighter, um, almost bicycle wheel looking uh, wreath. So um, you can do one or do them together. They're both just super cute. So you could do two. I probably should have picked up four. Um, so I could have done one like this and then two separate ones. So anyway, you just, you know, you offset this and that's what gives you the that look. So Yahoo, super, super, super cute, super cute. And then the last thing that I found Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe that I found them. I, have you guys seen these? Like, I saw them last year, but we never got them in. And so, uh, yeah, I grabbed them for Christmas, of course. But these are like, I don't know, can I get it in the camera? So this is the big one, and it's it's metal. And um, then we're going to make, obviously, maybe some Christmas trees. I'm really not sure exactly what I'm going to do with those yet. Oh, now they turned upside down. I can make an ice cream cone, something or other out of this. I may double duty this thing. <laughs> I picked up two of these little ones and then two of the bigger ones as well. So if you see these at your Dollar Tree, you may want to snag these up because uh, you guys know if you wait, it won't be there. So thank you guys so much for hanging with me today and uh, looking at this Dollar Tree haul that I hold home. It wasn't a whole lot, but they're starting to get their fall stuff out. So be looking forward at your Dollar Tree. Hit the subscribe button below. I love you guys so much. I think we're going to cook next. So love ya. See you later. Mwah.